This experiment is about burning. And as you can see, I've got two candles here, one tall one and one short one, and they're standing in water, which is in a plastic box. Now I'm going to set light to the candles. And um, as you know, when the candles burn, they are going to need a good supply of oxygen. Well, that's not a problem here because there's a lot of air around the candles and um, that of course contains a lot of oxygen. But what do the candles give off when they burn? Well, a mixture of carbon dioxide, which is heavier than uh, air, and um, water vapour. Now, I'm now going to cover the two candles with this big glass jar. And I wonder whether you can predict what will happen as I do that. I'm now going to do it, and of course, as I do so, I'm going to reduce the supply of air available to the candles, and therefore the supply of oxygen. And the big candle, the flame has already gone out. And the small candle has gone out later. Now, why did this happen? Well, I said that the candles gave off carbon dioxide and water, and I'd said that carbon dioxide was heavier than air, so it should have sunk to the bottom. But the point is, the carbon dioxide that was produced by the burning was hot, and that meant it was low density, so it rose to the top of the glass jar, and so the big candle was put out first because its supply of oxygen had been reduced.